Hi, I'm William, and this is my wife, Caretaker. Last week, she told me she wants to have a kid. But how am I supposed to know if I'm ready to be a father? Having a child would change my life forever, maybe making it worse. I do need to start considering it now though, because my balls are less than a decade away from disintegrating into dust. But what do my balls have to do with raccoons? Well, I've heard they have a similar intelligence to a human toddler. So I'm going to speed run parenthood by renting a raccoon. And at the end, I'll tell caretaker how I honestly feel about having a kid. And I'm not gonna rent a kid because... <laughs> the first thing I need to do is find a raccoon. Maybe God will let me borrow one of his. Hey buddy, you ever lived inside a house before? It's cold outside, it's warm inside. You wanna come inside? No biggie, I found one on the seventh page of Google. This is Oliver, he's two years old and his favorite food is almonds. His owner agreed to bring him over to see if he'd be a good fit. He seems pretty chill for a raccoon, so I closed my eyes and typed in my credit card number. Completely wrong because my eyes were closed. They'll be back tomorrow to start the simulation. And before leaving, she gave me a warning. You'll need to childproof the house. Childproof my house? I need to childproof myself. You're looking at a man who wouldn't hold your baby even if you were sinking into lava. Oh, nice. But the bigger problem is I have no idea what a parent even does. Step one, you feed the kid. Step two, they, they poop and pee. Step three, I don't know. No one tells you what this one is. And step four, they go to college. Jesus, draw the rest of the owl Christ. A hundred years ago, a dad's only job was to get drunk and inflict permanent psychological damage on the family. When did the rules become so complicated? They're not smart. Like they can't do math good, but they're smart enough to make your life a living nightmare. Just like real kids. Where am I gonna put this? All right, I'm going to bed now. See you in the morning. It's working. I have a son. I'm a father. Is he going to claw our eyes out? I hope not. Oliver is a very good boy, as long as you follow some simple rules. One, don't restrain him. <laughs> what do you see? You're too, you're too fat for this. Two, don't take anything away from him. And three. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you're freaking me out. Oh, I can't remember what the third one was. You might be asking where Jimmy Neutron is. I knew he wouldn't get along with my raccoon son, so I kicked him out last night. Don't worry, I gave him a gun. All right, you brush your teeth? He just wanted to eat the toothpaste. Like father, like son, my boy. Then we went to the kitchen. No, no, the kitchen. No, we're supposed to go to the kitchen. I'm going to make him the same breakfast my mom made for me when I was a kid. Maple bacon and the cheapest pancake mix you can find. I'm even going to juggle the eggs. One, two, one. Oops. Oh, look who decided to join us. I'm making you breakfast and you're, you're eating egg off of the ground. I'll make you pancakes if you behave. I have a feeling you're not gonna get pancakes. Keep them preoccupied with some water. It's the same trick my mom used to use back in the day too, just turn the sink on, keep me going for like three hours. Have I ever told you about the breakfast my mom used to make me on Fridays? Yes, you have. <laughs> I hadn't realized it yet, but Oliver was trying to escape and we were about to have our first argument as new parents. No, this is fine. You? No, you deal with him. That's part of this is multitasking. You have to work as a team to make it work, okay? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> You're supposed to watch our child. I mean, but if it was a child, I don't think I would allow him this far. He is incredible. Breakfast is served. Wait, come back. You want to go to, you want that side of the table? Okay. Yes. Yes, he's eating the breakfast I made for him. I feel like I've, I've succeeded as a parent. Uh, you hungry? I'll get yeah. your plate. Okay. Even your protein. Some orange Can juice. I get some hot sauce? And you also get some orange juice. That's my glass. Okay. Okay. No. Drink your orange juice. I'm not trying to be an overbearing parent, but if you give kids the option to eat whatever they want, they'd die of malnutrition. It's, it's a part of a complete breakfast. Part of a complete breakfast. Can I have some hot sauce? No, you get your own hot sauce. I'm busy. Okay, he just wants to escape. I'd say this is going pretty well. 
So he already has a name, but he doesn't respond to us. I figure we should give him a new name. You don't like Oliver? Oh, no, I don't not like it. I just... Like Oliver and Company? Like feel like movie? that I... You don't feel bonded? Right, yeah. Do you have a name? Gobbler. Okay. Name him Gobbler. No, Oliver Gobbler? No, no, no. It's Gobbler. Oliver. It's kind of the same kind of... That, that, that. Oliver. Gobbler. So we call him Gobbler. I'm gonna go that's play with not, the... I'm gonna go play with Gobbler. That's not... <laughs> I'm playing with Gobbler. The first step to ensure my son doesn't become a degenerate is to make him do chores. He's not strong enough to hold the plates, but he can lick the chunks off before I scrub them. You finish uh, eating all the eggs off of that pan and I'll do the dishes over here, okay? Yeah? I decided to clean the dishes myself because I have a business meeting soon. Caretaker is leaving for a bit, so it's up to me to keep Gobbler occupied. My plan is to keep him entertained with the one thing children can't keep their hands off of, a gun. There you go, don't eat it all at once, okay? I'm gonna go do my Zoom call, and uh, you got it. <laughs> Yo, can you hear me? Hello, yes, now I can hear you. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for, uh, thanks for talking. I'm just, you know, I had some, uh, some ideas. Cool, is that a raccoon? Yeah, it is. Sorry. There's a thousand other rooms in this house you could be in, but you chose right behind the camera. Wait, how did you get that? I rented it. <laughs> That's awesome. What's his name? Gobbler. Cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, this is, this is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. I don't care. I think it's interesting. Are you making a video where you just are sh calling people and seeing if they no, notice? No, so I, the, the idea for the video is um, renting a raccoon to see what it's like to have a kid. Wow, cool. <laughs> YouTube is my full-time job, but I'm worried a child will take that away from me. So I decided to try filming a video for my second channel while also keeping Gobbler under control. Garage tour. I haven't really done a garage tour since I've been in this house and it's it's been a mess. I've been sort of embarrassed of it. And even better, this is garage tour with a raccoon. Gobbler? Want to give us some information about what's going on here? Yes, I'm talking to you. It's a bunch of miscellaneous crap. It's got uh, a buff Pikachu that I printed and was going to paint, but I never painted it. Um, those are, uh, that's a YouTube play button that I never opened. That's uh, just a normal desk fan. I was not able to keep Gobbler under control. When given the chance, he immediately starts climbing, and the handlers then had to intervene to keep him from hiding somewhere they couldn't reach. It's fine, it's fine, don't worry. Having a child is either a living nightmare or this raccoon is not a great substitute for a real kid. My plan was to surprise Gobbler with this raccoon costume I made. I even had to fix the tail with some 3D printed parts because the seller didn't include any way of attaching it. You see the tail? Look at it, and then you can unplug it and then you can plug it back in. Ta-da, look at that, fixed it. What do you think of that, Mark Rober? But he hissed at me. I thought maybe if I dressed up like you, we would, uh, no, he doesn't, he doesn't like the costume. He does not like my costume. I'm trying to enjoy being a parent, but all I can think of is don't piss the raccoon off. I spent the past week building this wooden dumpster for him and he hated it. You wanna, you wanna touch out your new bed? You like it? You like your dumpster? Oh my God. <laughs> he knows. The point of building it was to go on the inside, not on the outside of it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I bought this cute raccoon book, but it was a total scam. He climbed inside for to eat a bite. He climbed inside for to eat a bite. What? Where'd you get this book? I got it on Amazon. How much did you pay for that book? This is like $10. Mm, you have... <laughs> he climbed inside for to eat a bite. Ruby fell and the bees gave chase. Ow, you stung me, get out of my face. You took our honey, it's not your place. Steal our honey, you get the worst. <laughs> yeah, I want to put this book where it belongs. In a dumpster. <sighs> we should start burning books more, what do you think? At this point, we're only throwing him a birthday party because the guests are already on their way and I pay the deposit for the cake. I'm just gonna go to the grocery store really quick to pick some stuff up. Chelsea's uh, dealing with him right now. Gobbler is in her hands. Gobbler, wait, is it Gobbler? What's his name that William said? It was a horrible name. Oliver, don't tell William. I don't know, I feel like, was this a bad idea? Is this anything like a kid at all? I feel like it's kind of like a kid, just 
It's a raccoon. Am I doing a, a bad job as a parent? Like, what does doing a good job mean? Place your item in the if you have your shot gun, scan it now. It just feels like I'm going through the motions of being a parent for no reason. Gobbler doesn't seem to appreciate any of it. All right, Chelsea, what do you think of my minion? It looks like, it, it doesn't, it looks <laughs> like. I've, I've had enough of whatever that answer is, goodbye. It's a minion, it's not Among Us. Among Us sucks, minions rule. I would never let my son play Among Us. I planned an entire day for a raccoon, but he just didn't give a crap. I honestly don't know what I expected, which saying out loud now seems pretty obvious. I mean, we had to ask everybody to sing quietly so we didn't scare him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. This isn't real. It's just a bunch of morons singing happy birthday to a raccoon, and it's not even the raccoon's birthday. He refused to eat any of the cake, and the only way we could make him touch his presents was by hiding almonds in the wrapping paper. All he wanted to do was hide under the table and eat Cheez-Its off the ground. I don't know, man. I knew this was stupid from the start, but I was really hoping to get some idea of what having a kid was like. But all I got was this weird YouTube video, and it destroyed house. I wonder what I was like as a kid. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear William. Happy birthday to you. Come check. You're not turning into a grouch when you're five, do you? You don't want any birthday here? No, going to check your cheese. We're still going to check your cheese. Maybe being a parent isn't about things going right, but learning how to deal with things going wrong. I doubt it was my parents' plan for me to smear poop on the walls or flatten my nose when I face planted into the concrete floor. But what do I know? I'm just an idiot who rented a raccoon thinking it would behave like a child. But am I ready to have a kid? That's cute, isn't it? Um, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> this is my cat, Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I paid $5 for him and have used him in a bunch of videos. I hired a team of scientists to cut him up into 2,000 pieces without killing him, but they failed. But why am I doing this? Because I want to sell you my cat, to give everybody the opportunity to be a pet owner. But I can't give you an actual piece without killing him. So instead of sending out chunks of Jimmy, I've created a framed certificate. Your name goes here. My signature goes here. Jimmy's signature goes here. And your unique cat chunk goes here. Maybe you get this piece here, or this one here. Maybe even an eyeball, or his butthole. Your certificate gets framed, boxed, and sent directly to you. This is an actual, real product. I'm doing this all by hand because I'm an idiot. Cat Warehouse has also plagiarized one of my favorite shirts, but we changed it to a raccoon, so it's okay. And if you're too fiscally responsible to buy any of my crap, I'm giving away 20 $50 gift cards. All you have to do is follow Cat Warehouse on Instagram and leave a comment on this post. I am a business god.